Alrighty, we're going to be doing a um, thread repair on a steel MS260 chainsaw. Uh, we're going to be using the uh, time certs. I've looked those up. Those seem to be what we're going to be going with today. Um, tried to find some other videos on YouTube. Haven't found any really good ones, so I decided to make one myself. This is actually the first time I'm actually doing this, so uh, bear with me. Um, the time certs we're going to put in, you have to buy the longer ones, are the, for this, is an M4, seven, and they're the eight millimeter long ones. Um, those are extra, bought a bunch of those, because I figure I got a bunch of chainsaws, I got like four steels, they all take the same, and this hole right here that we're gonna be doing, this hole here seems to be, uh, get screwed up on the steel chainsaws quite a bit. So, that's what we're doing. And if you look, it's actually cracked. So, I'm not sure how well this is going to work, but we're going to give it a shot. So, focus back in. I've already used a toothpick, and I use that as my depth gauge, so I know how far in the closed bolt I need to go. I then took my tools and marked them as such. I'm using, you can use a marker or whatever. For the video, I'm using some yellow uh, electrical tape so you guys can see what's going on. Um, I removed the handle, the side handle, the chain brake I just zip tied over to a bolt underneath, extended it out a little bit. Um, hopefully that should work and keep it out of the thing. But definitely removing the, the, the other carry hand, the other handle, this lovely beast here, is definitely going to make your life a lot easier. So let's see, so they do want a little bit of oil. I am just using a little needle oiler. This is, this works really well, I like needle oilers. Um, I get these from Brownells, and the type of gun oil I'm using, actually, I'm just using a gun oil, is called Tough Glide. It's a drying oil. That's why I like it. So, we're going in to the threads, and we're actually, we are cutting. Ooh, we just took a big hunk of this out here on the side. Don't like that. Of these stuff there. Actually, it looks like we've gone all the way through here, now, folks. So I guess we don't really need to worry about going too far, but it's going to go through one more time. And we're through. Alright. Well, makes life a little bit easier. Pull it out one more time. But as you see now, we have actually caused a slight problem. That little crack. Um, we're now missing a part. Where's my toothpick at? Come on, focus, you old bugger. We have chipped this out right now when we drilled in. So I'm hoping, I'm still going to work on this, see if I can get it to seat, and hopefully it still works. So. Alrighty. So we're going to switch out of time, sir. We did our... Now we're going to put a little collar on here. Add some more oil.
Now I went pretty far down in there. I'll bring you guys closer again. Now that chafer, we kind of has gotten down. So let's see if I can get a better angle on it so you guys can see. There we go. So that's about where we're almost down. I kind of like. Uh, we got quite a bit of long screw could go in here, so I am not really worried about this one bit really. If I take one of those. Uh, where is it at? The time start here. That is actually below flush. And I'm not worried because actually the screw we're going in there, that's going to be going in there. I'm yeah, sorry, it's out of focus. I'll do that again. Come on. There we go. So, get closer with me here. So I don't have the best equipment here. This little, this is got, I'm putting it in upside down for right now, but as you can see the little lip, the little lip is actually going to be below where we're at, which is great actually, because that'll mean it'll be a little safer, a little be seated in there a little longer. And the screw we're putting in is quite a bit longer. So I'm not too worried about that. So we're going to be going in, but we're going to grab plenty of thread. And I did get the longer um, time certs, so I want more. The more thread I can get in there, the better. So we're definitely going to be uh, having plenty of room. So next up is we're going to put threads in. So changing out our tools. And again, you'll notice I used the electrical tape to kind of mark where I'm going here. So we're going to go in again. This time we're digging threads. And the threads are actually the outer threads we're putting in so that the time cert has something to grab onto. And it's very important that we try and get this as straight as possible. So we're going to go that down to the yellow. And I actually forgot to put a little oil in here, but the nice thing about these needle oilers is it makes it real easy to add oil, especially to small spots. I use these for doing my Glocks, my ARs. Um, these needle oilers are great. Like I said, you can find those at Brunel's. And I use it with a Tough Glide. Get a package of three. I get a large bottle of Tough Glide. I get a three pack of the needle oilers. You do end up having a little cap for them so they don't leak all over the place. So put that on when they're in storage. But I pulled it off for right now just to make things go a little faster. Things are going nicely in there, as you can see. Shavings out if we can. Go blow off the tool. Not over the That's so we're not getting a nice hissing sound. Bring in my tool, and now I'm putting the insert driver on. Tip, just a little bit, and then 
the insert or the time cert. And actually, this is the cap for my needle oiler. And that goes right on there. I can squeeze. And uh, they hold really tight. I like these a lot. All right, next thing we're doing, we're also adding some red lock thread to the threads. You don't need too much. You're gonna, ooh, that's way too much. And I got a rag here. Had way too much come out. You want to put a good amount on. 